the initial trigger for me to even get interested in No Build for Rails 7 was just an infuriating annoyance by being unable to compile a JavaScript project I had so carelessly left alone for about five minutes. <laughs> None of the tools worked. Everything was outdated. And when I went to try to update it so I could compile it again, I literally couldn't figure it out. I spent half a day wrestling with Webpacker at the time, and I did turn over the table. I'm saying, no, I, I made the integration for Webpacker to Rails, and I cannot figure out how the fuck this works? No, no. There's something deeply, fundamentally broken in that model. And that's when I came to realize the truth. And the truth is, only the browser is forever. Only the browser will allow us to run code, markup, and styling that we made 30 years ago with no modification and no complaint. That is the beauty of the modern browser. It is a beast of complexity, and I would not wish it on my most mortal enemy to try to implement one from scratch today. But the benefits we all reap as web developers from the fact that browsers have gotten this good with such a commitment to backwards compatibility is incredible. Incredible. The idea that you can design something in, let's say, 1995, and it's still how it looks today! <laughs> and it's still one of the biggest websites. This is Craigslist. I don't think they have changed an iota of that design that launched back in 1995. And it still works. Not only does it still work, it still thrives. That level of longevity when it comes to software development is something we should aspire to. And I think that aspiration goes straight through the browser. It goes through the truth of the browser being the runtime of all of this code that we have. And the more we can remove in terms of intermediaries between us and the browser, the better off we are. The more we're likely to have code that will run five minutes from now.